Hi guys, this is Danny, also known as GCSE Potential, and today I'm here with Ishan, a first year mathematician studying at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. This video is going to go through everything to do with maths at Cambridge. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, so let's get started. Would you like to introduce yourself, Ishan? Yeah, hi, I'm Ishan. I study maths at Sydney. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> The maths students don't have any social skills, so yeah, don't expect much. Okay, cool. So let's get started with GCSEs. So my big questions are kind of, what GCSE grades did you get? Um, what grades are they looking for for maths? How important are different GCSEs? Are there any ones which matter more than others? Um, yeah, just a general spiel. Yeah, um, I got five nines and four eights. And like, they don't really care much about GCSEs. I think especially here over Oxford is what I've heard. But um, just like you want nines and like the science, eight, nine, eights and nines really in sciences, sevens. I know a guy who got like an eight in maths. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. He got an eight in maths and he got in as well for, for maths. So I don't think it's like that important. I think A-levels a like, you know, Things can happen in GCSEs, and if you get better, then that, that's what they care about. So. Yeah, fair enough. So GCSEs is not that deep, but mostly sevens, eights, and nines. I guess nines and math and STEM, ideally. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, moving swiftly on to A-levels then. So which A-level subjects should you be taking? A lot of people say, what if my school doesn't offer further maths? Um, and aside from further maths, do you need three A-levels, four A-levels? Which ones should you do, etc.? Yeah, so I ended up doing three. Um, I started with four, and I dropped econ, because I just, I hated essays, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> And yeah, so I did maths for the maths and physics. Um, and you know, people will do maths, um, FM, computer science, you know, and then like chemistry, stuff like that. It, they're all like, quite common combos. Um, and yeah, it's just like STEMI. If you do maths for the maths, I know a guy who also did English what? and like psychology, like there's, there's, there's lots of things, but you know, maths for the maths, physics, like, you know, STEM sort of things. Um, if your school doesn't do further maths, I do know people that like, did their further at different schools and like they like travel to different, but like you don't need to do that. If you self study further maths, then it's like it's fine because you will need to know it for step. Um, so, yeah, so you basically do need to know further maths because of step, but we'll yeah. talk about that in a bit. Um, I guess the only other question is like um, what kind of grades you need. Do you need the A star and further maths predicted, etc.? Yeah, so yeah, A star, A star in maths, further maths, and A in like your third or AA in your last two subjects yeah cool so just two a stars in maths and further and then the rest don't really matter that much as yeah. long as it's no okay cool so i guess the next step of the application process is the personal statement and the thing is the personal statement is a bit weird because it's for maths and like you don't really like i don't know what would you have to say i don't think they read it much <laughs> uh, i heard like you know some people they just kind of like read it like very very quickly and throw yeah. away um and most people get an offer i think especially for maths like uh sorry an uh, interview um especially for maths because like you can't really judge that heavily you know your mathematical ability on a personal statement but just like show show interest like you know everyone tells you not to care but you you will end up caring so you yeah, know it's like do do what you know your teachers tell you to do or you know, <laughs> <laughs> what you think you know anything that shows interest just put it down like essays or whatever what did maths. you do i have interest i wrote an essay on maths the, the tom rock maths oh, essay yeah, competition yeah. um i went to a maths musical with my friends one time yeah. You put that in your personal statement? <laughs> yeah, <for> no. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, and <laughs> I can't remember what else did I do. Uh, Enrich, there's the Enrich website, um, which is run by Cambridge. <laughs> and they have loads of like problems on there for you to submit. So I, I like spammed a bunch of those, like put solutions up and then they submit them on the website. So yeah, just, just any, any kind of extracurricular maths you can do is good. Okay, cool. Mu oh, the musical's actually ridiculous. I'm going to rinse you for that. I'm actually going to rinse you. <laughs> okay, cool. So the next stage of the application process is weirdly the interview because you do the admissions test, which is step afterwards. Yes. So with regard to the interview, kind of what comes up and how do you prepare and what specific resources and advice do you have? Yeah. Okay, so the interview, it's all maths. You know, you sit down, they go, we're going to ask you maths questions. <laughs> um, uh, I had two interviews, um, 30 minutes each, and like roughly it was like two to three questions per interview. Um and it's it's just like short little maths puzzles graph sketching is quite common um but there's loads of resources online there's a guy called vishal gupta who oh, okay. yes yeah, yeah no he has an amazing website i will link it in the description don't worry and in that website there's also the tbo booklet which has like 100 and something 150 questions interview questions mostly harder than i'd say real interview questions so if you just like do those over and over like you'll get better it should be fine those are the main things anything else for interview any other advice think, or tidbits i think practicing like with friends is very helpful um just just like loads of practice with friends talking to yourself even like while doing like any maths problems just so because you interviewer wants to know what's happening inside your head and people that don't talk you know they can't really 
see what you're doing, what your thought process is, and responding well to hints and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So just a lot of practice, being able to verbalize exactly what you're doing. So why you're differentiating it like this, for example, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll link all the resources. It's mostly a, um, any other things that you know about the interview, like different experiences from your friends and stuff, or is it pretty much just that? Yeah. So, I mean, there's in-person versus online. Um, some in-person interviews, they have like an online test, like a test that you do beforehand. So for example, Trinity do, I think uh, Downing have a little test beforehand in Pembroke. Um, and then you bring your answers into the interview and then you talk it through with the interviewers. Or for me, it was just like the interview asked you the question on the spot and like that's about it. But I think 50% around about get offers after the interview. Really? Yeah, the step offers here. Okay, yeah. So here's the, here's the big one now, <laughs> step. Oh my God. So oh, how do I even describe? Okay, look, I'll be honest, yeah. I got an A star in maths and an A star in further maths. I got like 99% of my pure papers. I'm not saying this to flex. The first time I saw, saw step paper, I genuinely wanted to break down. I, 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 I just can't do it. I actually can't do it. Yeah. Like it's, it's just so difficult. Step is one, I think it's probably the most difficult exam an 18 year old can sit. I can pretty much say that with confidence. Anyways, you have to get, so the grading system works like it goes, does it go down to a four? It's, it's S123. S123. So you need pro usually a 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, stuff like that to get in. Um, so you're, after your interview, you get an offer and then you have to get a grade on these exams. Uh, do you want to give a rundown of what the exam looks like and how to prepare and yes. how to do well, I guess? Yeah. So the you know your step paper is going to have 12 questions. It's three hours long. There's eight pure questions, two stats questions, two mechanics questions. Um, you roughly take 30 minutes per question. Each question is 20 marks. And, and yeah, there's two of them <laughs> during your A-levels. <laughs> step two and step three. So yeah. what content comes up in each? Uh, step two is just A-level maths um, and AS further. And then step three is everything A-level and A-level, uh, normal maths and further maths content. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's hard. But, <laughs> but, but I think like it is a skill as much as it is, you know, like problem solving. Like, you know, the more you practice, the better you get, even though you won't be able to see it for a little while. You know, yeah. it's, it's quite demotivating at times, you know, at least I found it that way. Mm. But it, yeah, you just like stick through it through the entire time and you do end up seeing results. What's your kind of trajectory? So let's say I, when, when should you start preparing? Because that's a big one. And then if, let's say you've just gone off, what should you be doing, etc. Yeah. So I, there's the uh, step support program, um, which has like certain modules um, and they're quite like nice. They, they have like a warm up. They have the main question. They have like a warm down. Um, I did some of those uh, from year 12 into year 13 over the summer. I don't think that's very important to do. Um, and most people I'd say start around the like start of year 13 or January even after they got their offers. Um, but like, you know, the earlier the better. But, uh, that's the best advice I think. But don't worry too much uh, like about people who start like in year 12, like start of year 12, like don't worry about that. Um, I, yeah, so around interview times, I stopped, you know, doing step practice and just mainly focus on interviews. After I got my offer, like that's when I kind of just started like, you know, papers. I started from the year 2000 and I just kind of like worked my way up to 2023 or whatever. So you just did like basically every paper? Uh, well, I think they go back to like 1986, but, but like... 86? I think something like that, yeah. Um, but... But, you know, the papers change over time, and I think most people start around early 2000s. I didn't end up finishing all of them, so, but, you know, they they kind of evolve, um, especially at the start of, like, the 2010s, 2012 sort of time that you kind of start noticing uh, a few changes. The questions get longer, but, like, more guided almost, but then at the same time, they can be harder. So, it's, yeah, you end up noticing little things. And as you kind of progress through, I, at least I, I started making notes um, of little mistakes that I made or like, you know, common mistakes, you know, little things, to, little tricks that I found in questions and kind of like wrote them all down in a notebook and just kind of read that book like every, like now and, now and again. Yeah. And I think that helped quite a lot um, just to kind of like, you know, it, especially seeing questions kind of like come up in a similar way again. It was kind of like nice knowing those tricks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, lots of tricks there. Any other resources aside from just step or is it literally just step papers mostly? I think I just, I mainly did step papers. I did um, like friend with practicing with friends as well. Um, I had one other friend doing it in school. So it's quite nice to have a bit of motivation, a little friendly competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I genuinely think it's just papers. That's, that's pretty much what everyone does, I think. Fair enough. And if I've got a question wrong, for example, and I'm not really wrapping my head around it, what would you suggest that I do? Um, you probably okay 
I very impatient and I would look straight at the masking, <laughs> but um, you shouldn't do that. Uh, I and I, I did train myself to stop doing that. I you just need to kind of like, you know, if if you're not getting anywhere, do take a break. You know, whether that be you know a day or twenty minutes, you know, depending on how much time you have. But like you know, a few hours, and you will work on it like subconsciously, um, and it is much it's much more rewarding yeah. doing it yourself than you know checking the masking every single time. But yeah, I, I think do sit with it and. You have to be patient with step, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who goes through step and does well is traumatized. Um, so if you look at the mark scheme and you don't understand it, is there anything else that you could suggest? Um, the step mark schemes are quite helpful. Um, they are quite like quite detailed. Mm -hmm. um, again, Vishal Gupta's website should have a, like a lot of the mark schemes because some of them are a bit hard to find, especially the earlier ones. But they are they are really helpful and they do have mark breakdowns as well, um, which which sometimes the solutions don't have. Uh, but there, there are various solutions online um, that you should be able to find. Um, and they they're all, they do things in different ways at times. So yeah, it's definitely worth to... Any other advice that you have for Step? Just, yeah, it's just practicing. <laughs> okay, like just, it's like, like, what is it? Like four months, five months from January to you know June for, to when you said it. It's just, it. yeah, it's just consistent. Okay. Yeah. yeah, great. The next question I have, and kind of like the final bit now, is college choice. Mm -hmm. Because I know that when you apply to colleges, there's like very different requirements for maths. Like there seems to be a, a very big range. So kind of how did you pick a college and what do you recommend looking at or considering? Yeah, so maths, um, there's some colleges have like flexible offer schemes, um, depending on individual circumstances. Um, so Sydney is one, Lucy Cavendish, Downing, Emmanuel, Gerson. There's there's a few of them you, you were able to look uh, find out on the website. Um, and they have a flexible step offer, which is, you know, either it's the regular offer, which is two A stars, A, and a one one in both papers, or if you get three A stars, you can have a one in one paper and like a two or a three in the other paper, for example. Um, I applied to Sydney to try and get that offer, but I did not. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think it is worth, you know, if if you're, you know, you you think that that might appeal to you, and you know. There are circumstances involved then that's so like worth. contextual stuff yeah yeah um i think that's worth a try um if not again just location some like facilities so for example one of my friends he he does math he applied to churchill because like they have a break dancing studio there, and that's the only what? that yeah they have a, that's the only like college with, like a break dancing like facility <sighs> strange but, place strange place man. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah so like it, yeah check it out check what you know if you have any hobbies and the college like kind of facilitates that check it out trinity yeah i was gonna ask like everyone seems to apply to trinity like what um it's, i think it's just like internet like a lot of international like olympiad could, oh, you know they 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 see trinity and they want to apply there um and it's really love it's it's a lovely place i i go there a lot um but you know it i don't think some of the you know there's there's some mathematicians i know in other colleges that are just as good it, i don't think it really matters that much yeah yeah i mean in terms of applying to trinity do you think it's more competitive do you think it doesn't matter that much um, I think maybe it is more competitive, especially more like an interview kind of. Um, and I think they do, I don't know, uh, you know, a lot of people there who go there, they probably have done Olympiads. Yeah. That's, you know, is there a correlation? I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe there but is. maybe there is, but yeah, I mean, the Olympiads are crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean like, again, the pooling system does exist. So yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, that was all. Um, I guess the final question I have is how are you finding it? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's hard, but it's good. And, you know, there's a lot of people you get to spend time with. And there's a lot of mathematicians, aren't there? Yeah, there are 270. Holy moly. Um, Do they all scroll reels during lectures or is it just you? There's like 100. I don't know what they are. They're like 150. <laughs> I don't know what they do, but um, yeah, no, it's it's interesting to be in like such a place like where people are like locked in half the time. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you very much, Ishan, for coming on. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Either Ishan or I will answer. And that's all. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you.